Hey there, fellow white shavers, Brian here with the White Shave Experience. Thank you for tuning in today's video. All right, in today's video, we're gonna be using Angora Soap's High Roller, uh, along with the matching High Roller Splash. We have got the Smiles for Miles synthetic uh, brush, and I figured the purple kind of matches the purple ring around the Angora Soap. We are all lathered up here in the bowl, and uh, there we go. It's made a very nice lather today. For a razor, I almost forgot about that. Uh, we'll be using again the Blackbird Blackland TI that's on loan for me to me from John at Lather Hog. Uh, today I'm gonna try a different blade in it. I'm gonna use a Voshkod blade. I was looking for a blade a little bit more mild um, because the razor seems a, a little bit more blade feely to me. So I am I went with this one, thinking that maybe this one would fit the bill. I did shave off camera on Friday with a silver blue. Uh, it was about the same as an asset for me, so I'm switching out the blade today. And uh, I'm gonna wet the face and get started here. And we just have water in our in our sprayer. I'm working on three days growth. My last shave was um, Friday. So we'll see how the black one does with the three days growth as well. I don't have particularly thick uh, beard growth or hair or particularly dense growth as well. It's a little bit more in the goatee, but not so much on the sides. So there we go. So if you're new to the channel, let's get all that taken care of. If you're new to the channel, thank you. Appreciate the subscription. If you're watching this for the first time, consider hitting that subscribe button below. And if you've been here a while, much appreciated. And uh, we are closing in on 500. So those of you who've been around, uh, really, really, truly appreciate the support. Those of you who are new, like I said, uh, welcome to the channel, and hopefully we'll continue to, to grow. So we've got a nice little lather here, so a nice little sheen. And uh, I've used Angora soaps once before, and um, I had the Olympos, but I, the time I bought that, they did not have a splash. They now have a splash. So if you're a matchy matchy OCD person like me and you need a splash with the soap, they now have them. This was one of my birthday gifts. Uh, I had uh, picked this out, sent it to my mom. And uh, so if you sign up, um, it is available. I think, I know the razor company has it. I don't know if any other online retailer has it. They have their own website which is where I got this through. They have free shipping, I think over 50 or 60 bucks. And then from time to time, they have a 10% off deal. So they were having a 10% off. So um, so I had I directed my mom there to get it and she got free shipping. She got two sets, so she got the free shipping and the 10% off. Um, so that worked out really well. And so you can sign up for their newsletter and um, look for those 10% off deals. I've seen a couple of them. Um, in the last few months, I think there was one around 4th of July and then there was one just recently. So um, I did like the Olympo soap when I used it. Uh, I'll probably go back and get the splash eventually, but the high roller to me um, smells really, really nice. All right, so the uh, scent notes on this, this is modeled after or inspired by uh, Tom Ford's Ombre leather. So it's black leather, patchouli, vetiver, and a floral top. Um, to me, it is very, very nice. Uh, I like it a lot. Um, in fact, I saw John Latherhog just post recently, which by the way, he got his, uh, his Instagram restriction removed, so that was nice. So congratulations, John, if you happen to see this. Um, and he did a, a Instagram live shave, I think, yesterday. So, um, but anyways, I saw he posted that he uh, got the actual uh, Tom Ford Ombre leather fragrance. Uh, but he said, I asked him about this. He said he actually got um, some skin irritation from it. So hopefully I don't. I don't feel any tingling or any issues so far. Uh, so... Um, but it's a very nice scent if you like leather. Uh, it's not overly powerful leather. Uh, the floral top is not too, too florally. Um, but for me, it, this is a, a really, really nice scent. 
Sense strength is probably, I'd say on this, is probably a, a good medium. So I'm gonna put that, put this in say the five-ish, uh, give or take. So it's not overly strong. I feel like maybe I could have used a little bit more hydration in the soap. But uh, when I first opened this and smelled it, I, I've seen it's not new, right? So it's been out a while. Uh, a few people have done videos on it already. And I think it got pretty favorable reviews by everybody that did it. I think initially some people were saying that the scent strength is a little low. Um, I don't really, I don't think it's that low uh, to me. I mean, it's not up there like a seven or an eight, but um, definitely plenty for me. And, uh, and I really enjoyed this. I was telling John, it's a bummer he, uh, since he got the fragrance, the fra I was going to say frag, I don't know if I say fragrance, but fragrance. <laughs> um, since he got the fragrance, it's too bad he, he uh, um, has had an issue with the, the irritation. No, ir no issue for me at this point, at least from the soap. So I might paint a little bit more water in here. Um, but anyways, I was telling him for me, I mean, this might actually be like a, a top scent in my den. I don't know. It's not probably not going to be a top five, but it might be at this point, a top 10 cent for this year to me. I can't remember when this came out. I, I can't remember if it came out at the end of last year with the soaps or if it came out, uh, the beginning of this year. It's, like I said, it's been out for for a little while, but not that long. Put a little more water in here. I'm gonna make my shave a little quick today. My wife needs to get in the bathroom. She's got an appointment this morning. Lucky I got uh, shave time, camera shave time today. But uh, all right, so cross the grain. And uh, I am liking the black one razor. It is a little bit more blade feel than I typically like, but it's not too much where like I, I feel like I can't use it. And I think this Foshkod blade actually so far is doing really well in it. The head geometry I think maybe because it's it's kind of squared off on the sides. I don't know if you can see that on camera very well, but you know it's more squared off versus more rounded. I feel like that shrinks your um, window, uh, your angle window on the face. So you really got to make sure I think that you're if you're at the right angle with this, or you are going to have some trouble. Like I said, it's it's similar, although not as as dramatic as the Henson um, or even the that winning razor from uh, the Wet Shaving Club. 
which I've used the Henson as a loan out. And I have the winning razor, which is actually out on loan to John. So that's what we swapped uh, to borrow. So. All right, let's get into the third pass. Hopefully everybody had a good weekend. I'm running out of water in this thing. Um, we had a pretty good weekend, except that uh, my son had a rough night on Saturday night. And it was complaining that his ear hurt. So when he woke up, he seemed okay. But as the afternoon went on, he just didn't seem like himself. So I ended up two hours of urgent care yesterday. And sure enough, he had an ear infection. So to get an antibiotic for him. He slept through the night last night, which is good. I got that antibiotic started last night. But man, getting him to take the medicine, whoo-wee. That was not easy. He has to take nine milliliters of it. That doesn't sound like a lot, but when you're trying to get medicine um, down a kid, uh, nine mLs is a lot. So five mLs is a teaspoon. So basically two teaspoons almost. So he took, the syringe is like uh, 10 mLs. So he took like the first five and then he drank it and then he spit, he spit out the rest of it when we tried to give him the rest. He just like literally just spit it out. So we had to try to hide it in some juice and we did, but it took him forever to drink the juice because he go, oh, I got myself right there. So I think I, I have a actually a, a blemish right there. So I noticed that earlier in the shave. So I don't think that's, I think I just caught something. Yeah, I can feel a little, a little bump there. So anyways, um, it took him about an hour to drink his juice. But then you gotta make sure he finishes it because you put it in the juice and if he doesn't finish it, he's not gonna get all the medicine. So we're gonna have to get creative. I feel a little tugginess on this pass with this blade that I'm not enjoying and it doesn't feel quite right. So I'm not sure, we're all tightened up, so. So the blade was doing pretty good up until the chin. The, my hair growth is more coarse and thick in the chin and mustache area as probably is the case for many folks. Those areas are always a challenge for me. Oh yeah, I got something pretty good right there. You get all these hairs that grow in odd directions here. So hopefully, well, we can get my son to take his medicine. But I mean, he's just staunchly uh, anti-medicine. He won't take, I mean, he, even if he just hurt himself or something, he won't take like a chewable Tylenol or drink anything. All right, I'm gonna rinse the face here. Uh, I feel like I got a little irritation on the chin again. 
as well on that third pass. So I might try an Astra SP tomorrow. I'm not sure this was the the winning blade. These are the Voshkod uh, what is this? Uh, Teflon coated ones. I don't have my reading glasses on. So anyways, this is the blade that I used today. If I didn't show that earlier, I can't remember if I did or not. All right, let's get the splash on. Now, this is their first version of the splash. Um, and my first use of the splash. Definitely get a little tingle there from the alcohol. So it is an alcohol-based splash. It smells really nice. I get the leather. I did put a little bit on the back of my hand one night, I think the night that I did my unboxing after that. And um, I definitely get the leather up front, but from what I remember, it settles out um, throughout the day and the, the, the leather part kind of just mellows out really nicely. And um, it's a really, really nice scent. So if you like leather, um, and it's not florally. I mean, the top says florally if you've tried or smelled Tom Ford's Ombre Leather. Um, really nice. So again, Angora Soaps High Roller. Matching Splash. Blackland, Black, Blackland Blackbird TI uh, with a Voshkod blade in it. We had our Smiles for Miles synthetic brush there. And we did use the Lancaster Bowl. So still got plenty of... Um, you know, I've, uh, I've still got a ton of, of lather in there. So the soap is a little bit um, harder. And I don't want to say hard. I guess there's a lot of soaps that are really soft these days, like Milk Steak and some of the Kaizen and um, some of the other soaps that are just really pretty soft. Um, this it was not very soft. So it's... Um, it's still, I mean, it's definitely pliable in my bowl and it's soft, but it's not super soft. So I think, I feel like a, a lot of, I scoop my normal amount of soap and it's got a higher volume of lather in there. So I feel like a little bit maybe goes a, a little bit farther with this soap. Um, just my, my thoughts on that. So anyways, thanks for tuning in today, folks. Hope you enjoyed the video. If you made it this far, thumbs up would be nice down below and we'll see you soon on the channel.